The impetus behind 100K Ideas was that as an inventor and an innovator myself, there was never a place that I could go and get the kind of help to develop those ideas. And as I matured uh, through life and I started to really get interested in creating businesses, I found that the path to entrepreneurism starts with ideas and many of the programs out there really started to only help entrepreneurs and there's a whole layer underneath that that needs attention. We know that everyone has an idea. The average household income in the United States is between fifty and sixty thousand dollars a year. I believe people should be starting small businesses that gives them that experience to become entrepreneurs and build paths to prosperity. As a director of operations, it's managing kind of the whole function of the organization. So it's overseeing the budget, it's managing our leadership staff, it's doing community engagement, making sure our partners and stakeholders are happy with our project, but also setting goals for the organization as well, which is a huge thing. We have done fantastic work and we want to continue to do that, so it's kind of planning what does that look like moving forward. 100K Ideas is in Flint, Michigan because Flint is a town built with grit and the number one trait of entrepreneurism is grit. It's not about how smart you are, it's about how long you can stay in the game and how clever and creative you are. Not coming up with good ideas, but fixing the bad decisions that you had yesterday. That's what entrepreneurship is all about. And what better place in the country to build upon grit and innovation than Flint, Michigan? There happens to be 100,000 people in Flint, and if everyone comes into 100K Ideas, I truly believe we can rebuild the middle class. The way that we measure success has multiple components. The first is, in just over two years' time frame as we got started, over 485 ideas have come through the door. So even though all ideas are not good ideas, the fact that we have almost two or three ideas coming in every single day means that we're providing opportunities for those people who did not have opportunities to pursue their dreams before. We came together and really thought about taking a spin on traditional pitch competitions. Generally, they ask for you to kind of be an established business or have a business plan. And because we deal with ideas, they thought it would be a great chance for us to really kind of explore that and provide some financial backing to individuals who maybe just be in that idea phase and see what they can do. And so it's more than just the prize money, which is fantastic, with the first place prize being $10,000. But what we're doing is also hoping to build their entrepreneur network within the city through mentorships and workshops to help them so then they're leaving with more than just simply a check and then for those who don't win but do get that exposure that there's more to it than that and so it's all kind of again about building entrepreneurs and moving forward with their ideas and hopefully I'm getting them to a place where they can have some financial independence. If you come in with an idea and another person comes in with an idea and another person comes in with an idea that word spreads very very quickly and so it creates a culture of understanding of how to become an innovator and how to move towards entrepreneurism. And again, what we want to do is build paths to prosperity. And if you want to work within a community, you need to find partners who can elevate your game. One of the greatest joys is seeing success. It's almost like when an angel gets their wings. I, I get a feeling of joy that someone is starting down this path of prosperity, most importantly by rowing their own boat and seeing that their own actions can change the future of their lives.